What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome to the channel. I miss you guys so much. It's been a little while now. Uh, welcome to the Locks life. I'm Yana Locks, aka Lady Eight Locks. Yo, I got a lot to tell you guys, so stay tuned. So, first and foremost, um, this video is going to be broken up into so many parts because I've had a very, very busy two weeks. I've gone back to work, so I've been trying to cram, cram time in to make these videos for you guys. Um, so you're going to see uh, parts of this video that clearly were not aired on the same, uh, recorded on the same day. But yo, for now, I'm going to have to pause this video because i got to go get a haircut and I'll be back matter of fact, let's try to hook it up right now. Yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Alright, All right, so now we got the hair cut. Looking good, looking good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, let's get to the nitty gritty. So as of July 4th, this will make five months I've had my starter locks in five five months i'm just one month shy of being halfway into a year so i am super super excited about that yo check it out right um i got like i said i got some a lot of news to tell you guys a lot of news um let me start with uh my hair i have been experiencing a lot of shrinkage a lot of shrinkage before some of my locks came down to my ear now they're really shrink. matter of fact let me show you let me show you instead of talking about it be bad. okay so this is what my hair looks like now five months five months get down get down let's do a 360 360 Okay, so my hair, I don't know if I show, I hope I've showed you guys. At least on the sides, they would come down to about, they were coming down really far, past my ear at least. At least. Now, look at, look, look at where they at, right here. So I'm experiencing a lot of shrinkage all over. Still budding all over, still have these little balls forming at the end of my starter locks and they are falling off as the days go but um this this bad boy is being a little stubborn but um still having that i have not noticed a lot of dryness in my in my starter locks i haven't had a lot of itching in my starter locks i've gone back to drinking more than eight cups of water uh per day so i don't experience a lot of itching um before, you know, I think in my fourth month, you know, I was, I was feeling a little bit of itching. That's because my water intake uh, wasn't what it should have been. These last two months, as far as just trying to maintain my hair, trying to tame my hair, my hair, I feel like my hair is in those teenage years, like it is doing what it wants to do. It doesn't want to listen. It wants to go and be anywhere that it wants to be. And because of that, I've had to wear this on a daily basis. Now this, if you guys have been following me, y'all know I wear this bandana to go up to the barber shop. I use it to cover up the roots of my starter locks so that way my barber doesn't cut into my starter locks. But I have been wearing this every day now just to hold down the top part of my starter locks because they are just everywhere. Um, what I have done also is put a rubber band behind, well, at one end of uh, the band because my head is so small, you know? And it keeps my back of my hair from flipping up like this, right? So that's what I do. I just put this bandana on, comb down my sides, it lays the top of my hair down, and we're all good. We have gone to uh, Hurricane Harbor. So I, I've gotten my hair wet. Um, I did not go completely under the water. 
but I did get my hair fairly wet and I'm happy to say that none of my starter locks came out. Um, they didn't even get, sometimes my hair gets really, really badly tangled when I wash my hair. But even getting in the water, I didn't even have that problem, so that's a good thing. Um, my hair did look like like I was one of the members of the Friday Rocks, but it didn't come out, so <laughs> it's, it's all good. I've been wearing a lot of fitted hats lately uh, just to cover up some of what's going on up top because like I said the hair has just been doing its own thing uh, so now let me tell you the doozy let me tell you what happened I washed my hair right I washed my hair to get ready for the reach list and after washing my hair now I washed my hair without the bronzers very diluted with water one time I washed my hair without the bronzers one time and I washed my hair one time with uh, um, generic version of Chloe Jules Tea Tree Worship. When I finished washing my hair, I felt I was stepping on something in the bottom of the tub. And I'm wondering what is that I'm stepping on. So when I cleared my eyes and looked down, you would not believe what I saw. Wanna guess? Yes, my hair. Not like little strands of hair that come off, you know, your dead hair that comes out in the shower. Not even the little curly balls that come out that I find around the house because they just be falling out everywhere. No, what I found was the tip of my lock. Yeah, right, let me show you. This is the tip of my lock. Right, and this was at the bottom of the tub. Now let me show you. Let me show you. See how thin it is at the top. That's what came out. Put it back in my little Ziploc bag because I'm gonna keep this for the rest of my life. Um, when I say I was in a complete panic, it's no exaggeration. I was in a state of frenzy. I was scared. I was. I was, I was bugging out. I was just like distraught. I was like, what is going on with my hair? What am I doing wrong? You know, I use mostly not natural products. I consume a lot of water. I use a lot of oils. Um, just what, what, what went wrong? And I got on the phone with a lot of veterans in the game who have locks for eight plus years. And most of them told me that this happens, you know, this does happen. They even showed me, one showed me uh, a handful of locks that they kept, which also happened where their locks had started to come out as well. Now, there are a number of reasons why this could have happened, and I'm gonna tell you all of them. It could be that my locks are being twisted too thin, too much, I twist it too thin. I twist it too much that it becomes thin and it falls out. It could be that because I go to the barber shop and I get my little tape up and my line up that the barber may have cut into my starter lock. It could be that. It could be the very products that I use in my hair may possibly be causing some damage to my hair. It could be that. I don't know. I really don't know what caused this to happen. Um, all I'm being told is that it does happen and do not go into a panic. And so that's what I'm going to do. I am going to be um, maybe reassessing some of the products that I use. Um, maybe thinking about getting haircuts a little less. We have gone into palm rolling my hair, so that's good. Maybe this is the... Uh, um, uh, the effect of having it comb twisted. Who knows? It could be a number of things. It could be a number of things. But I'm not going to rack my brain about it. I'm just going to try to make a few changes and hope that it doesn't happen again. So that's that. Alright? So in this video, guys, I am going to show you um, the gel. 
uh, Sweetie took. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you that right now. Let me show you that right now. So Sweetie, she cut up the aloe plant, and what she did was she scraped the aloe from the plant and placed that aloe in a jar, or cup, or whatever, and then she applied it to my starter box. And that has been. She's done that so far uh, in my last two months. Uh, retwist and that has been working out very well very well it's made it very easy to apply the aloe plant to my hair opposed to taking the plant itself and wiping it across my starter box so very nice I like that um, she also has started to palm roll my hair as you know she used to comb twist my hair now she is palm rolling my hair now that my hair has gotten to the length that she's able to palm with my hair. She's now palm in my hair. And that has been working out, <clears throat> too. That has been working out very well as well. Um, I am going to get like a, a uh, I don't even know what that, what is it called? The thing that they use in the salon to put over your head, uh, to dry your head. I'm gonna get one of those instead of using the blow dryer because what I usually do is blow dry my hair till I'm at a halfway point and then I let it air dry from there. But what I would like to do is get one of those uh, salon um, caps that you put over your head and allow it to dry that way at a halfway point, of course. Um, and I think that's, that's about it, guys. That's it. So that is what's going on with my hair, you know? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it informative. And I hope that um, this does not happen to you. Um, if it does, all I can say is don't panic. Um, don't rush to comb your locks out. Don't rush to cut your locks out. Just stay on your love journey. And I'm pretty sure that it'll all work out in the end. So this is Yana Locks, Locks Life. Guys, I wish you all the best. I hope to see you next time. I'm glad to see you now. Listen, peace, blessings, and of course, let's hear peace.